Meteorologist Chris Haddings here. Uh, looks like a chance of some thunderstorms across portions of the area today. Someone could get strong to severe as well. I'll show you where in just a minute as we go through this briefing. That's why I'm here, obviously. That's why I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to you just for fun. Now, let's start by taking a look at the general severe weather outlook issued by uh, the Storm Prediction Center down in Oklahoma. Just about most of the area can see a shower or thunderstorm, but the colors that draw your attention, obviously, a darker green here. That's a marginal risk of severe weather, about a 1 in 20 chance of seeing something. Best chance basically along and east of I-25. You're going to hear me saying that a lot through this briefing, so if you hear me say that, drink. Just kidding, boss. Anyway, east of that line, looks like the best chance of seeing has a slight risk. About a 1 in 6 chance of seeing a strong to severe thunderstorm if you're in, over in this area. Now, one thing we, another thing we got to talk about here is maybe some localized flooding. Now, back in this area, the air is fairly dry, so probably not going to see much of a chance here, but slightly higher dew point in the air could bring some heavier rain. Especially once you get east of I-25 again there. Or I said it again. I think especially northern Natrona County up here towards southern Johnson County. Some of our high resolution models are showing maybe a couple of storms will be across this area during the evening hours. So if you see any localized flooding, this would be the best chance of seeing it. Now when we talk about severe thunderstorms, what three things do we talk about? Can you remember? Damaging winds, large hail, as well as tornadoes. Take a look at each of those parameters. As far as damaging winds, severe wind described here, basically 58 miles per hour or greater with gusts. Just about any thunderstorm or even shower can produce that in Wyoming, so no surprise there. But best chance just about perfectly follows the uh, marginal and slight risks. 1 to 20 chance here across the marginal risk area, east of I-25, there I said it again. About a 1 in 6 chance, basically, following the slight risk. Now, as far as the T-word tornadoes, the risk is actually not zero today. It's pretty low, but... Wouldn't surprise me if you see one or two small ones across the area. Best chance here will probably be, again, east of I-25. This is just a 2% chance within about a 25-mile radius. Again, east of I-25, basically Buffalo, KC, Midwest, Casper, on to the east. Could, be, could maybe be a straight one a little bit further to the west, but that's by far the least of our worries there. Now, the big threat today, I think, out of this is going to be large hail. You'll see the difference when I click this over. Again, it could be small hail just about anywhere. Now, severe hail is defined as hail one inch or bigger in diameter, basically about the size of a quarter. And basically, anywhere in that slight risk area, again, basically Grable, Warland, Thunder Toward Lysite, out of the east, seeing the best chance of that. Now, you see the slight risk here, just about following that perfectly, but the difference there, see these lines going through here? This is what we call a hatched area. This means there's a risk of seeing severe hail there. And that's hail two inches are bigger in diameter. That's bigger than the golf ball. That's the kind of hail that could maybe damage your roof, damage your car if you're driving, or could break your windshield, and if it hits your head, it could break your head too. This is the kind of hail that really injures people. So if you see a storm with hail that big, try to get the cover as soon as possible. That's gonna be by far, I think, the biggest threat today. So as we summarize the threats and the impacts, there'll be a few storms around the afternoon hours, but this at this point looks like a late shell. It could be a cap in the atmosphere. It may take a while to break. So. Strongest storms are most likely to see between about 3 or 4 o'clock to about 10 o'clock, right after sunset. Best chance of severe thunderstorms like it usually is across our area. Johnson, Detroit County is a little bit lesser chance in eastern portions of Bighorn, Washakie, Hot Springs, as well as Fremont counties. Main threat, going to be large hail, especially in eastern areas. Damage being also possible, again, they can't rule out a tornado in some places, but that's going to be the least of our threats. And one more thing about these storms, not everyone's going to see them. They'll be isolated to widely scattered. So if you don't get one, don't be surprised. Not every location will get one, but just about anywhere in that marginal or slight risk area has a chance of seeing a strong to severe thunderstorm. And as our resources, you want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. Now, if you want more detailed information on the storms, you want to really geek out, get into the more technical aspects of it, go to the Storm Prediction Weather Center site, basically spc.noaa. Dot gov. A lot of good stuff there. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.